So come in on this. Come look at this. This is what you want your vegetables to look like. I don't have much in here. All right. So my vegetables look good. I'm gonna go ahead and add this in there. These crumbles. You know, maybe I can make a, like a quarter inch stick or something like that. Just cut it. Kind of have it thick you want. Girl, just cut it. <laughs> Alright guys, it's time for the taste test. Brother really did his thing in the um, kitchen. So we about to taste these tacos. I'm hungry. I'm hungry as well. This is our first time trying the um, meatless tacos with yeah. the veggie crumblers. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be good. I had a little taste of the meat. Um, we do have the, um, how you say it? Platanos. The platanos. And uh, we have some, these are like refried beans. Yeah. They, they do, but they're black beans. They're not refried black beans, but they're just black beans. They're like halfway refried and partially fried. Okay. So y'all yeah, know I'm gonna keep it real. We finna see what it's hitting on. How many tacos you eat? I don't know, I'm hungry. I ain't really hungry. We're just gonna sit and eat and chat with y'all for a little bit. Oh, uh, wow. Well, I asked you earlier, did you open it? I said no. And I told you to open it. Oh, you don't listen. I don't. Listen. <laughs> I, don't. <laughs> I can already tell though, just like, just from scooping on here, the texture of this meat is is different. It's not, it's not like the, the texture of, um, it's, it's not meat. But you know the the veggie griller crumblers. It's not the it's not quite the same texture as um, as like ground ground meat. There we go. But I mean, it still looks good. I'm gonna put a little cheese on mine. And also, like I said, y'all, these are not authentic tacos. So don't come for us about y'all not authentic tacos because I don't want to hear it. I really don't. <laughs> um. It this looks is just, good, I mean, it's just, a, it's a Tuesday. We done both worked, had school all day. I went to the gym. Maya went to see mama. You know, we had a lot going on today. So this was just a little quick, easy something. Maybe one day we could do a video with authentic um, Mexican tacos, but. Taco Tuesday. Didn't I tell you earlier you was doing too much? But anyway. Sorry. Pass me the um, cheese. Pass the doobie to the left hand side. Uh, where's that from? A little um, little lettuce, little spring mix chopped up here. You could easily do this with like, um, like you would with a typical um, taco with like some chopped onion and cilantro. Maya doesn't like cilantro. Also, I don't, it's not that I don't like cilantro you don't like a lot of it. i don't like a lot of it because that that taste is very present a present help is a kind of trouble i'm gonna put a couple of these I'm a, hmm? plantain chips because are you doing two tacos hell yeah i'm doing two tacos i'm hungry i think i'm gonna i'm gonna come back to my second one i'm gonna i'm gonna add some um banana peppers to mine you do what you do and i'm gonna do what i do so i'm gonna do one we have this this taco sauce that I haven't tasted. I'm going to do one with this taco sauce and we have some salsa verde. So I'm going to do some with the salsa verde. También. Yeah, I think I'm going to do my first one with... Um... Whoa! It looks so good. I think I'm going to do my first one with the taco sauce. You doing both? Or you... I'm doing one with, 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 with salsa verde, with the green salsa, and then one with... Oh, this one. There we go. Um... And then one with the taco sauce. <laughs> um... You gonna say hi, Grace? Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> Mona, I'm hungry. Dear Lord, we just wanna come to you just to say thank you. Yes, Some days we know how, Lord God. We just wanna thank you for the food that was prepared, Lord God. We just ask that it be a blessing and a nourishment to our bodies, Lord God. And in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. Which one are you? Some time. Mm -hmm. You tell me when, cause I don't set up here and I don't even know what it's going to Also, you know I had a toasted tortillas. If you know, you know. So I'm going to dive in because this looks so good. This is a full taco. Wow. Mmm. 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 What are you put on yours? I don't know. 
I put, I got a tortilla. I grab some of, the, some of this. I put the cheese. I put some beans. And I put some lettuce and then taco sauce on this one. Wow, that's good. Oh my lord. That shit really hit me, Mmm, mmm. I got my napkin in there because you know tacos can get messy. That's really good, actually. Mmm. That's good. That's good. That meatless meat is. Mm. Mm. I think I like that better than the um turkey. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. And that says a lot coming from me. Mm-hmm. The only thing though is that I don't have to compare it. I just don't think there's as much protein in this. Dang, half your turkey came out. I mean half your um your meat came out. I, I don't think there's as much protein in this as there is in, in ground turkey or ground beef or whatever. But like, it still be good. Right. Like, but it's healthier though. Ain't that right? That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. Mm. Especially, than, especially than beef. But. Mmm. Mm. Well, why would you eat? Mmm. Mmm, messy. Right. We also want to talk to y'all just about being kind to yourself. Because I feel like this past year dealing with, I don't, well, I'll speak for me, um, with this past year dealing with COVID and you know people losing their jobs, they're being furloughed, laid off their jobs, closing, and you know just everything that's, that's going on. I feel like we have, it's been easy to sort of be hard on yourself and then when you see people that have like taken that year and launched businesses and now they're they're doing great or whatever, and for the people that didn't, it can be kind of hard to sort of look and, and compare. But at the same time, it's like, you can't always compare your journey to other people's journey. Like that, my therapist told me last week, she was like, you have to remember to be kind to yourself. Because let's be honest, a lot of people in the world aren't gonna be kind to you. I don't know about your experience, but a lot of people wow. have not been kind to me. So, you know, if nobody else is gonna do it, I sure will, you know? And y'all have to remember too that like, things are seasonal. Everything happens like mm -hmm. in certain yeah. times. Yeah. like. Just because the time wasn't right, like right now, doesn't mean mm -hmm. that it's gonna be the right time in, in a future day. Type right. of thing. Like I was literally thinking, like earlier today, like you know, like we have to we have to get out of the mindset, or you know, stop letting people define who we are. Mm -hmm. In a sense, like stop letting people tell you like what your purpose is and like what you need to be doing in life. And it's just like tap into things that you love and right. like make sure that you're learning and you're growing as an individual right. like and I can't begin to tell you how important that is because like just for me personally like I've had people tell me like what I need to be doing and those things you know I've tried them because I felt like oh well you know this person is speaking up to my life you know this is something that I need to be doing, but you know, in all actuality, those things did not work out for me. Right. And I was just telling That's my good. brother, like, I was purposed to create. So, right. like, one of the things that I did say at the beginning of this year was like, God, however you want me to use my talents, like, you know, I'm willing and I'm available. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, look at us now, like, here we are starting a YouTube channel. We were supposed to start this YouTube channel, first of all, like, last year. To be honest, we're supposed really, to like years, years ago. ago. Right. Because we like we had a channel mm -hmm. like way back when like YouTube was like new. You know what I'm saying? But like unfortunately like, our parents didn't want us posting on social media and mm -hmm. having social media in general. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, just you being able to use this platform. Right. You know what I'm saying? To not only you know be able to express ourselves but to inspire other people right. as well. Like this is something that we found to be like fun and just like really something to really just like you know be a part of and mm -hmm. just kind of engage with it's just what I, I guess i have to remember like for me that it has a story to tell and that's okay it's like me. you know it's just like you have to remember that you know you were you for one 
and you were created to be you, not to be somebody else. And you were created with intention and with purpose. The only thing you have to do is find that purpose and then walk in that purpose. You know, and it's so easy to be like, well, so-and-so's doing this, or so-and-so's making this amount of money, or so-and-so is, you know, whatever. But so-and-so is not you, and you are not so-and-so. Like, you were created to do what you were created to do. Right. And and that's that. And once you sort of, you know, stop worrying about everybody else and what they're doing, and you really see the way things fall into place, it really puts it into perspective. Like, I know for me, I've tried to have my hands into everything, you know. Yeah, me too. I'm, I've worked in the restaurants. I've, you know, be in music, try to do performing, you know, try to be in this organization and that organization, try to, you know, diversify my resume. But then once I decided that, you know, I'm just going to be me and do me, and then whatever comes, whatever work, whatever money comes from that, that's what comes from that. And that's that. So this is a, a little quick video. Right. For y'all, we just wanted to kind of invite y'all into our space and just talk to y'all a little bit. That's a little encouragement. It's a little weird, if you will. But, but no, like, I definitely feel... I think I can achieve. I definitely feel what you're saying. Like, I've definitely tried different things over the past, like, few months. Mm-hmm. And, you know, really went all in with them just to realize that, like, yo, this... Is not for me. But the thing is, that's perfectly fine. Like, the thing is, because we're still living, we're not dead, all of our stories are still being written. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with trying this and trying that to find what is your purpose or what's your thing to do. And that's how you figure out not only what you're good at, because you can be good at a lot of things, but what you're best at and what you're meant to do. Um, that's one thing that, that's been on my mind heavy, heavy, heavy recently. Like, okay, you can do this. You can do that. You may even be great or amazing at this thing. But that don't mean it's your purpose. That. That. You know? And, and it can be a hard thing to... Accept. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, it, as creative as I am, <laughs> and this may come as a shocker to a lot of y'all, but I just realized that, like, I was purposed to create. Oh. Like, and it's not even to be funny on, like, some real, like, some real stuff. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just, like... You know, you, like you were know. saying, like you look at everybody else and like mm-hmm. you like, oh, this person is making X amount of dollars and, mm-hmm. you know, this person is doing this, this person is doing that. But like, I mean, if you know, if you're watching this video and you know me personally, or if not, or if you've heard of me, you know that I do, like I'm a creator. I do mm-hmm. music. I do different things like that. And although I do those things, it's like I never really like allow myself to be fully into it. Right. It's you know like, what I'm saying? Because I was, time. yeah, like mm-hmm. because I felt like I was in search of something else right. when really everything I needed was right, right in there. front of me. Uh-huh. You good. know what I'm saying? So it's just like it's one of those things where it's like, yo, like I'm a creator, like, and although it's not bringing me the amount of money, I mean, and granted, I still have a nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And granted, like being a creator is not bringing me the type of money that like, you know, most people with side hustles or whatever they in real estate or they doing insurance or whatever is bringing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my journey. Like, I can't really right. compare that to what somebody else is doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like. And two, your purpose doesn't have to be your nine to five. Exactly. Like, your nine to five can just be for you to make your coin to live off of. But your purpose may be to go and spend that on other people or go and do this to be whatever or do whatever. Like you're, I feel like we so often associate purpose with our pocketbooks and be like, oh, well, I feel like I'm purpose 
to create in whatever form, however, comma, that's not bringing me the money that I would like for it to be, so then that's not my purpose. Mm-hmm. That can't be my purpose. But that's not... That's, that's not, not how God intended it to be. Exactly. And also, another thing is, I feel like... This is good. That's also ready. That is good. This taco sauce is good, too. Mm-hmm. I feel like, too, your purpose doesn't always have to... You don't always have to have one purpose. Like, you can have a purpose for a season. Wow. Like I like I can look back over my life, over just the, the you know the years that I've lived and and I mean I've done so many things between you know high school and then my undergrad and now in, in my graduate career and it's like well should I have done that should I have done this or should I have been in this position or whatever but then it's like that was what I was purposed to do in that season and I did it but also. I had to leave it, right. you know, to walk into my next purpose, for God to elevate my status, you know. God, God is so funny, like, <laughs> that man, that man that is like, funny. like, he will literally put you in a position uh-huh. to where, like, you, you really want something, right? And, like, you think that's what you need, and he'll put you in that position just to show you that you don't need it, or that it was not for you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like. And that's what I love about him because it's like in in that same in that same like aspect. It's like dang, like I had all of what I needed all along, and I was yeah. in search of like all of this, yeah. trying to fit in with everybody else. When really all I needed was me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All I really needed was what I had. You right. know what I'm saying? Like like literally like. Me and Dave were talking about starting like this YouTube channel, like just for example purposes. Mm-hmm. Like we've been st- talking about starting this YouTube channel for forever. Like people been wanting content mm-hmm. from us for forever. Right. But it was it was always a situation like we you know we working or like you know we doing this we doing that type of thing or we don't have this we don't have that and I was mm-hmm. just like bro like just let's just record like you know what I'm saying we got right. phones that shoot like in 4K great quality good good to start off with and like it's just like sometimes we be in search of things that we feel like we need when really and truly everything we need is probably what we already have at home right you know what i'm saying like i feel like i'll say this and i feel like if y'all don't take anything else like in this video besides these good tacos because they were good these are bomb um just remember that you are enough like you yourself where you are you are enough what you're doing it is enough what you were created to do it is enough what you have is enough is enough mm-hmm. and i feel like if if more people realize that and accepted that so many of us would walk differently because there's always going to be something that you can say well i wish i had this I wish I had that. Or if I had this, I could do this or I could do that. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 all it's all for a purpose. No matter what you believe, whether you believe in God, whether you believe in the universe or whatever, whatever or whoever created us, created us as we are for what we need to be, you know, and for what we need to do. So just remember that. You are enough, and I know, because that's something I had to relearn, and I know it's 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 sort of almost seems juvenile, and it's hard to hear, especially if you're going through a hard time. But coming from people who just came through low points in their lives, speaking for both of us, mm-hmm. won't get into the details about it, but we both recently just had to realize that okay, I am me, I am who I am created to do what I was created to do, and that's enough. Mm -hmm. I am enough, period. That's it. And that's on Mary now, with the lamb. Oh, like Joseph and the baby and the man. Oh. Uh With the three wise men. Ooh. I love bananas with the child. Anyway, y'all, good night. Good night. No, but like, yeah, good night, but... (laughs) We just wanted to come and chat with y'all. You know, have dinner. You know, have a little dinner, babe. But 
But no, like my dividends for dividends, you okay? I ain't got it. Yeah. Okay. Even though I just I get paid tomorrow. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, yeah. we just really wanted to come and chat with y'all, man, because I, like that was really on my heart. Like I was really yeah. thinking about it. Like you know, there's so many people in this world that just they just they're just lost. Like you know what I'm saying? They don't really know you know what's the next steps how to find a way and it's like really all you have to do is just really tap into who you truly are like stop Mm -hmm. stop depending on other people's validation Mm -hmm. to you know get you to that next level yeah you know what i'm saying because you don't really need that like Mm -hmm. it's okay to try things and to try to figure it out as long as you don't try me Cause I can't hang. Anyway, <laughs> but but nah, like all seriousness, like like you know, it's it's okay to try different things and try to figure out what it is that you know you like and what you don't like, and you know what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those things are important. Like, but but most importantly, what I want you guys to take away from this video is just be you. Like, and don't let nobody else tell you, like, who you're supposed to be. Don't try to, if you feel like you're sticking out in the crowd, then stick out. Like, because you yeah. weren't born to fit in. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And there's purpose in that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So tap in. Like, you know what I'm saying? And do yeah. what it is that you were created to do. Whatever that may be for you, do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Despite what people may say, despite what... Mo- Despite what people may think, you know what I'm saying? Just as long as you're being yourself mm-hmm. and true to yourself and it's aligned with God's will for you, you mm-hmm. do it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, sir. do it. Don't don't even, like, second guess it. Just mm-hmm. do it. Word. You got anything to add to that? I can't say anything else. That was, a, that was the word in itself. Yeah, so. And on that note, y'all. We finna, I'm probably going to eat another taco off video. But. <laughs> But yeah, like I just really want to encourage y'all yeah. and to tell y'all to be blessed and just keep going, man. Yeah. Like just keep doing what you're doing. If nobody else told you I love you, you know what I'm saying? And just y'all just just keep being you, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Like be encouraged, encourage yourself if you don't have nobody else. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? If you if you gotta reach out to me, reach out to me. You know what right. I'm saying? Like cause I understand, like I know. Right. I'll say this, in the past video, I challenged you guys to find somebody, just take a minute and encourage somebody else. But in this video, I'll challenge you guys to encourage yourself. Take a moment, whether it be on a sticky note, in your journal. I have my journal. I have a journal as well. And just, just write a note to yourself and just encourage yourself. Because, I mean, who else, who better to encourage yourself than you? You know the ins and the outs and everything that you're going through. So yep. find a way to encourage yourself just to help yourself get through whatever it is that you're going through. And on that note, that's it. We're done. I have nothing else to say. So make sure you like this video. Comment down below if, if we encourage you in any way. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys can, can be notified whenever we post. Share this video with somebody if we in any way helped you get through just another day so you can spread that positivity on to somebody else and then come back every Tuesday and Thursday for another video and and we'll be here. Yep, we love y'all. Thank y'all so much. We appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all leave comments um in the um uh, down below mm-hmm. and make sure y'all subscribe man yes. we we're really trying to reach our goal of a hundred subscribers yes. for this first round. Yes. So we really appreciate it if y'all subscribe share with your friends leave comments yes. like all of that it really helps our channel out yes. um and yeah other than that we appreciate y'all we love y'all so much and thank y'all for tuning in to another video and that's on the md takeover <laughs> peace